Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm NDL Gamer, and today I'd like to introduce you to an amazing Pokemon game for Android. However, it's not available on the Play Store, or if it is, it keeps getting deleted or renamed for reasons unknown to me. Overall, the introduction is pretty captivating, but we don't know what the game itself will be like. Let's take a quick look at the introduction together. If you want to download the game, you'll need to first download an app called 7X Game. I'll include the link to the app in the video description, along with the game name for you to search. There will also be instructions on how to download it for iOS. After downloading the app, click on the game app, then click on Me to log in. This allows you to receive some benefits from the 7 as game app and makes it easier to find the game, as well as to top up your account more easily. Next, enter your email. I've hidden my email for security reasons, so I hope you understand. After that, they will send a code to your email. Just enter the code and you're all set. After that, click on the game and then click the search button to find the game you want to play. In this video, the game is called Pocket Incoming. Just type in the name and the game will appear. Click on it and install. Since I've already installed it, it only shows the open button for me. All right, now let's get into the main topic of today, which is the review of Pocket Incoming. The introduction is quite impressive. Now let's start by creating a character. I personally like games that let you create your own name. Some games don't allow me to use NDL Gamer and only let me use NDL Gam, which is really frustrating. Since I've played many Pokemon games, I've grown to prefer Pokemon with healing abilities, which is why I chose Bulbasaur. From what I know, it also has the ability to induce sleep. I'm curious to see how effective this is in this game. I find the graphics in this game quite familiar. It seems like I already have several videos about similar games on my channel. But that's okay. Since this game is on the 7 Eyes game app, it won't get deleted or renamed, so you can enjoy it for a longer time without any worries. Um, in the beginning, the game will provide some basic tutorials. Just follow along and make sure to pay attention to the tutorial spots so it will be easier to play later. The first part will guide you through the battlefield mechanics. Uh, this is a free-to-play online game, or F2P for short. However, if you want to become stronger or compete for the top ranks, you can spend money to purchase powerful Pokemon, high-quality materials, Mega Stones, and more to gain an edge over other players. You can still play for free and become strong without spending money, but it will require patience and dedication to learn the game thoroughly. Uh, the storyline of the game has you taking on the role of one of the two main characters from the famous Pokemon animated series, embarking on a journey to capture various Pokemon. In the game, you can capture Pokemon through a system called Draw or Gacha. You can use these Pokemon to build a strong team and battle against other opponents, earning experience and valuable items to strengthen and evolve your Pokemon. Uh, overall, the game is quite appealing due to the cuteness of the Pokémon and the creative approach to capturing them through Gacha. However, it can get a bit boring because capturing Pokémon in traditional games provides a sense of excitement and thrill. Throwing balls repeatedly until you finally catch the Pokémon you want and feeling frustrated when they escape allows you to experience a range of emotions. In this game, you'll feel less anger when trying to catch Pokemon since you can gotcha them. However, you might get frustrated if you're too weak to defeat an opponent or if your strategy isn't good. Compared to other Pokemon games, this one is enjoyable for casual play when you have free time. There are many other Pokemon games that are more interesting and visually appealing, but they often require higher-end devices. This game, from what I've seen, can be played on many lower-end devices. In terms of gameplay, it's similar to other RPG games, featuring an autoplay option that makes it quite easy to play. 
There are various missions to help you earn rewards and multiple game modes like PvE, PvP, and tower challenges. You can also turn off the auto mode to fight according to your own strategies. From my experience, manually battling in these games tends to lead to more victories than relying on auto because you understand your Pokémon and the enemy's Pokémon better, while the auto feature doesn't follow any strategy. Overall, the game doesn't bring much innovation to the gameplay. The most noteworthy aspect is that it's a side-scrolling Pokémon RPG, which is rare since such games are typically resource-intensive. In terms of graphics, I find them quite beautiful. The 2D graphics have a decent level of detail and even the skills look good. There are a lot of Pokémon character designs, ranging from the lowest evolution stages to higher evolutions and even the top tier Pokémon. However, the background design can feel a bit dull because there aren't many scenes. Compared to other games, the graphics in this one are average to above average. As a Pokémon fan, that's how I can only evaluate it. If you feel differently, feel free to comment and share your opinions so we can discuss. Regarding the sound, it's quite decent. The music is engaging, but for personal reasons, I usually turn off all the music in the games I record videos for. The sound effects are also very captivating, although there are a few sounds that seem to be buggy or I can't hear them properly. The voice lines for the Pokémon are fine and similar to those in the animated series. The game's strengths include engaging gameplay that is easy to play and accessible to a wide range of players. Office workers can enjoy it thanks to the autoplay feature, and students can also play because it's based on the popular Japanese animated series, making it suitable for all ages. The graphics are appealing, maintaining the artistic style of the original animated series, and the characters are quite cute. However, the game has some drawbacks. Since it's hosted on a Chinese app, there is a smaller community of foreign players. You could share this video so that more international players can join, which would help build a larger community and make the gaming experience more enjoyable. The storyline is fairly simple, and sometimes it doesn't even feel necessary. There are still some technical glitches, and the control system isn't entirely perfect, as there are certain areas where you can't attack first, which can impact your strategy. I find this game quite interesting and suitable for those who are busy with work and studies, but still love Pokemon. If you're looking for a game to relax and have fun, this one is perfect for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it so more people can discover it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support content creators like me. It really motivates us. Thank you for watching the video up to this point. Uh, you can continue watching the gameplay without comments to get a better feel for the game.